Throughout history, the United States has been a melting pot, drawing in brilliant minds from every corner of the globe. And among these, scientists of Chinese origin have made some truly remarkable contributions, especially when it comes to America's defense technologies. Think about it, the very foundations of physics, the daring engineering feats of aerospace, the intricate dance of digital computing, these fields have all been profoundly shaped by the ingenuity of Chinese origin scientists. So, get ready to journey with us as we explore the lives and legacies of these pioneers, whose work has left an indelible mark on U.S. defense, and indeed, on the course of history itself. Now, let's start our journey by traveling back to the 1940s, a time when the world was engulfed in the flames of World War II. In this tumultuous era, a brilliant young physicist named Qian Sheng Wu was making her mark. Born in China and later emigrating to the United States, Wu possessed an exceptional mind for the intricacies of the atom. She was recruited to join the top-secret Manhattan Project, the massive undertaking to develop the atomic bomb. Now you might be wondering what role did this unassuming physicist play in such a monumental project? Well, WU's expertise was crucial in solving a critical problem that was stumping the project's engineers' uranium enrichment. You see, to create a sustained nuclear chain reaction, you need a particular type of uranium called uranium-235. But this isotope is exceedingly rare, and separating it from the more common uranium-238 was a major hurdle. This is where WU's deep understanding of nuclear physics proved invaluable. Her research helped to refine the process of gaseous diffusion, a technique used to separate the uranium isotopes, paving the way for the creation of the atomic bomb. But, WU's contributions to the Manhattan Project were just the beginning of her incredible career. She went on to become a world-renowned expert in nuclear physics, conducting groundbreaking experiments that challenged the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Her work on parity violation, which demonstrated that the laws of physics are not always symmetrical, earned her a place among the giants of 20th century physics. Qian Sheng Wu, the first lady of physics, was a true pioneer, a testament to the power of human intellect and the profound impact that immigrants can have on science and technology. Our next story takes us from the realm of atomic physics to the dawn of the space age. This is the story of Qian Zhesin, a brilliant aerospace engineer who played a pivotal role in launching America's missile program, but whose life and career became entangled in the complex web of Cold War politics. Born in China, Qian came to the United States to pursue his passion for aeronautics. He studied at MIT and Caltech, becoming a protege of the legendary Theodore von Karman, one of the founding fathers of rocket science. During World War II, Qian worked on classified projects for the U.S. military, developing rocket propulsion systems that would later form the backbone of America's space program. But Qian's story takes a dramatic turn in the 1950s, with the rise of McCarthyism and the Red Scare. Suspicions about his loyalty arose simply because of his Chinese heritage. Despite his invaluable contributions to American science, Qian was accused of being a communist sympathizer, stripped of his security clearance and placed under house arrest. Can you imagine the injustice? This brilliant mind, this dedicated scientist whose work had been instrumental in advancing U.S. defense technology, was suddenly treated with suspicion and hostility. For five long years, Qian endured this ordeal, his talents wasted, his dreams put on hold. Finally, in 1955, Qian was allowed to return to China. There, he put his expertise to work for his homeland, playing a leading role in developing China's ballistic missile and space exploration programs. Qian Xuesen's story is a poignant reminder of the often turbulent relationship between science and politics. It highlights the tragic consequences of prejudice and the importance of fostering an environment where talent and dedication are valued above all else. Chapter 3. Wen Tsing Chao, The Legacy Etched in Silicon Our exploration of pioneering Chinese origin scientists now takes us to the heart of the digital revolution. This is the story of Wen Tsing Chao, an electrical engineer whose inventions transformed computing. Born in China and later immigrating to the United States, Chao had a rare gift for electronics. He joined IBM in the 1950s when computers were massive room-filling machines. Chao's vision was to make computing power smaller, faster, and more accessible. His breakthrough came in 1956 with the invention of the Programmable Read-Only Memory, or PROM. 
The PROM was a game changer, allowing for flexible programming of instructions onto a chip. Before its invention, computer memory was mostly fixed. Chow's PROM enabled engineers to program specific instructions onto a chip. The PROM was pivotal for the miniaturization of electronics in modern microchips. Chow's work on semiconductor technology and non-volatile memory further revolutionized computing. Wen Sing Chow's legacy is etched into the silicon chips that power our modern devices. He stands as a testament to the transformative power of human ingenuity. Chapter 4, Bridges of Innovation, Chinese-American Scientists and the Spirit of Collaboration. Now we've explored the stories of individual brilliance, Wu Qian Chao, each a shining star in their own right. But beyond these individual achievements lies a broader narrative, a story of scientific exchange, cultural fusion, and the enduring power of collaboration. Chinese-American scientists, throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, have often served as vital bridges between the United States and China, fostering scientific dialogue and cooperation. They've organized conferences, facilitated research partnerships, and nurtured a spirit of shared discovery. Imagine the bustling laboratories, the lively debates, the cross-cultural pollination of ideas, all contributing to advancements that have benefited both nations and the world at large. These collaborations have yielded remarkable breakthroughs in fields ranging from medicine and materials science to renewable energy and yes, even defense technology. But this bridge building hasn't always been easy. As we saw with Qianjisen, geopolitical tensions can cast a long shadow, sometimes hindering cooperation and even fueling suspicion. It's a delicate dance balancing the benefits of open scientific exchange with the complexities of national security concerns. Yet, despite these challenges, the desire to collaborate to push the boundaries of knowledge together has remained strong. It's a testament to the universal language of science, a language that transcends borders and ideologies. Chapter 5. Navigating New Frontiers, Modern Challenges, and Enduring Contributions As we move further into the 21st century, the contributions of Chinese origin scientists continue to shape the landscape of U.S. defense. Let's talk about Heidi Xu. Heidi served as the U.S. Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering. In this crucial role, she oversaw the development and deployment of cutting-edge technologies for the American military, tackling challenges ranging from hypersonic weapons to artificial intelligence. Her story is a powerful example of how immigrants continue to rise to positions of leadership, driving innovation and safeguarding national security. But alongside these remarkable achievements, a new set of challenges has emerged. The geopolitical landscape is shifting, and with it, perceptions of international scientific collaboration. We're seeing increased scrutiny, heightened security concerns, and, in some cases, a climate of mistrust directed at researchers of Chinese descent. Now, more than ever, it's crucial to remember the lessons of history, to avoid the mistakes of the past, like the unjust treatment of Qian Shuisen. We must find a way to balance legitimate security concerns with the preservation of open scientific exchange, a cornerstone of progress and innovation. We need to ensure that talented individuals, regardless of their background, feel welcomed, respected, and valued for their contributions. After all, the pursuit of knowledge knows no national boundaries. The challenges facing our world today, from climate change to pandemics to emerging threats to global security, require global cooperation and the brightest minds working together. We cannot afford to let fear or prejudice stifle the spirit of scientific inquiry or hinder the collaboration that has yielded so many breakthroughs. Let's foster an environment where talent and dedication are the guiding principles, an environment where the next generation of pioneers, regardless of their origin, can thrive and continue to shape a brighter future. Outro a legacy forged in innovation. As we've journeyed through the lives and legacies of these remarkable individuals, one thing has become abundantly clear. The impact of Chinese origin scientists on the U.S. defense landscape is profound and enduring. From the atom-splitting power of the Manhattan Project to the silicon heart of the digital age, their contributions have shaped the course of history, safeguarding freedom, and pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity. These pioneers remind us that the pursuit of knowledge knows no borders, that innovation thrives on diversity, and that collaboration is essential for tackling the challenges of our time. If you found this exploration as inspiring as I did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow science enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories of the unsung heroes who've shaped our world.
and be sure to let us know in the comments. What other pioneers of science and technology would you like us to feature in future episodes? Let's keep the conversation going and continue to celebrate the power of human ingenuity wherever it may arise.